There's some great research that's been done with regard to behavioral finance. We see our future selves as no different than a stranger. And so we don't make decisions with that future self in mind. Mm -hmm. They say the way to combat that is to create a vivid visual picture of a future self so we can start identifying with that and make better decisions in the here and now mm -hmm. for that future person, whether it's making sure we exercise, looking out for ourselves at an older age or eating better. There's other ways that we can start utilizing concepts of making better decisions for that future self. You can write a letter from your future self and then reply to that person as well. And then we, on the podcast, we talked about some of the more uh, innovative ways that we can identify with that future person using AI or using virtual reality and having an aged version of ourselves and actually talking to that person. And it's this concept that we believe we've grown in the past, that our teenage years, or our 20s or our 30s, we thought we've grown so much, but we believe that we've kind of reached the point of who we are. And that's for the most part set. This is what we believe. And we may change incrementally, but all the research shows that that's just not the case, that we will change. And we may change as much as we did when we were 20 to 30, uh, as we will from 40 to 50 or 50 to 60. And so he says that once again, we gotta make sure that the decisions we make today may not be what we may want to make in the future. Even if you're older, you wanna do something new, have a new career, Career, travel, you can you can have hope to know that research shows that you know you'll change.